Hey everybody, Dean Graziosi. Welcome to the Weekly Wisdom. I hope you liked last week where I shared about Lifebook and I'm going to go on deeper into some of the great things I've learned about setting your goals in all 12 areas of your life, basically where you are, where you want to go and how you're going to get there in each specific section. But something today really um, hit me and I wanted to share it with you guys and that's understanding the power of caring about what other people are feeling. You know, so many times in life we will have confrontation. We won't get what we want. We won't get that raise. We won't get our spouse to respect us or love us or, or give us kudos or compliments in the way we want or our children don't respect us or, or don't reciprocate the love or attention you give them or your coworker or your business partner or just anyone in life, your employees or employer. So I want you to do an exercise for me this week, something that most people overlook. You know, in life, usually when we talk to someone and we need something or want something, it doesn't make us bad for need. We all need and want things. Most of the time, we think about us and the circumstances we have in our lives, or the things going right, or things going wrong. And we don't realize, in most cases, people don't really care about us. They care what's going on in their own lives because we all have a late bill or we have a problem going on with a spouse or a worry about a child. So a good friend of mine told me once, we're only as happy as our unhappiest child. Is that true or what if you're a parent, right? So we have all these things going on. Maybe work is tough. If you own your own business, maybe stuff's going on with just overwhelm or there's too many emails coming in or your phone rings too much. So we have our stuff. So when someone comes to us about them, it's really difficult because we have to worry about our own stuff. So here's the challenge this week. I want you to pay attention this week to absolutely everything you want, you desire, something you're negotiating, something you want out of business. If you have a boss that's a pain in the ass, if you have a friend, a spouse, a child, spend this whole week not trying to ask for anything you want, not trying to make something be manipulated in the way you want. Rather, I'd like you to see how you could spend time benefiting those that you want something from. Again, work, family, love, life, personal life. Meaning, if you want a raise and you've been telling your boss why you should get one, why you deserve it, or you've been telling friends and family, Rather than that, I want you to think on how you could make your boss's life easier this week. Now, I know you might be saying, you don't understand my circumstances. Same thing with your spouse. If you've been looking for a compliment, looking to be appreciated, uh, looking for them to just be a little nicer, instead of asking for it or being mad that you're not, gonna, you're not getting it, I'd like to ask you to actually give what you want this week. Show appreciation, do those little things. Do the things that they're not expecting. Do all the things that you'd like to have. You want a little note, you wish you'd get a little note saying I love you, give a note saying I love you. You wish your boss would appreciate you, appreciate your boss. You wish your kids would see all you do for them, show them how much you care for the things they do. You know, in life, it's so easy to talk about the things that people do wrong or focus on what they do wrong, but how many times do you say good job for the little things, the tiny little things that we just kind of take for granted or just done every day. And it doesn't mean you're not do, being done wrong in any relationship you have. What I want you to just do for me as a favor just this week is please just do to everyone else what you want done in that relationship and do not worry about the reciprocation. Do not worry if they're going to give it back. Do not worry if they're not going to appreciate it. You know, if we can define love as feeling love when we give love rather than feeling love when we receive this perfect love, our definition of love changes, doesn't it? So practice this week giving what you want. And I think if you do it with sincerity, you do it from the heart, not with just this agenda, I'm gonna manipulate for a week and if I get something back, then I'll continue it. No, just let all that go for a week, even if it's people that have hurt you. Give what you want. And I can almost guarantee it'll come back in ways that you'll never expect. And sometimes you give it here and all of a sudden you get a tap on the shoulder and you get it unex in unexpected ways. So I, I hope I was clear on this message today. It was in my head clear. I hope it came out that way. So try it. That's my challenge. Give what you want and you'll be shocked at the results. 
If you're at DeanGraziosi.com, make sure you grab my free book, uh, Totally Fulfilled, right up in the corner, and my latest real estate book, One's Personal Development, One's Real Estate. And if you're on iTunes or YouTube, go to DeansFreeBook.com. That's DeansFreeBook.com. With great stuff coming, I hope you join us week after week. I'm Dean Graziosi. I'll talk to you soon.